This is an instructional video uh, for the Agilent 54622D mixed signal oscilloscope. Um, and uh, this video is intended just to show you how to use the quick measure function. All right, so I have a 60 hertz sine wave uh, set here with uh, plus and minus uh, one volt. Okay, so uh, there are tools built into the oscilloscope to make measurements for you. You can do this by clicking on the quick measure button. Okay, and you can see here now, uh, you can choose a source, meaning you can choose channel one or channel two, um, and then you can select the type of measurement. So by collecting select, uh, or clicking select, uh, you can choose to measure the amplitude, uh, the average, uh, the peak to peak, uh, etc. Uh, so you choose whatever you want to choose and then uh, so for example let's do peak to peak and then you click on measure peak to peak and you can see the measurement immediately pops up. Now if I want to add another me measurement to this I can again click on select and uh, go up to for example frequency and then uh, click on measure frequency and what it does is it adds yet another measurement so now I'm measuring both peak to peak and frequency I could do this a third time uh, and measure uh, the amplitude so I measure the peak to peak uh, value but perhaps I also want the amplitude or even the average and so I can click measure average and uh, there it is now uh, once I've done this, uh, if I want to get rid of a measurement, I can just hit clear mes or clear measurements and all the measurements that I've made have gone away. So this actually uh, becomes fairly straightforward to choose whichever type of thing you want. Uh, for example, RMS voltage and then you click measure RMS and it gives you the RMS value. Okay, so the utility here is using quick measure and then uh, making selections and adding measurements to the screen as you want, wish.